Welcome back to the Explorer series on 8 colors. I'm Vivi and today we have a special friend to help us learn more about the Explorer set. Hi guys, I'm Karis and I'm going to be playing with the Explorer set today. Yay! The first thing we're going to play with today is this. Karis, do you know what this is? Ropes! Mm hmm that's right! Do you know we have some colourful ropes in this Explorer toy box? Okay, what are these ropes used for? Can you guess? Uh, to tie something or mm. to make a friendship bracelet? <gasps> friendship bracelets! I would love to make friends with an Explorer and have the same friendship bracelets! Great idea! Now, ropes can also be used for many different things, which is why they are a must-have item for brave explorers, just like Karis. And ropes can be used to tie things together, or sometimes explorers have to tie themselves to trees and rocks to climb mountains. But ropes are not just useful for exploring around the world. We use ropes every day, even for your shoelaces. Now, Karis, do you know how to tie your shoelaces? Yes, I do. I just learned one month ago. Shall we show them how to tie shoelaces? Yes. But first, let's start with something easier called the square knot. Now, this is how you make the square knot. Take this rope and put it this way. And then this rope, put it this way. And you will see that it forms a cross or an X. Now, take this rope, bring it over this rope. You can press the middle if you want to. There we go. And then carefully bring it under. There. Now, one hand on each rope, pull it. And it will look something like this. Mm -hmm. Now, let's continue. Are you ready? Yes. Alright. Take this rope. Put it this way. Mm -hmm. This rope. Put it this way. And then, same, you have a cross over here. Press it down. Bring it over and then carefully bring it under. Ta -da. Now, take both ropes, pull them closer. It will look something like this, a bit like a square. And then pull it even more to make it tight. This looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It looks like a croissant. It looks like a croissant? Ooh, be careful not to eat it. Can you eat ropes? No, I don't think they're really good. <laughs> but now that you know how to tie the square knot, it's going to come in really handy when you learn to tie your shoelaces. So, this is how you make a shoelace knot. We're going to start the same way again. Take this rope. Yep. Put it this way. And then this rope. Put it this way. What does it look like, Karis? An X. That's right. Continuing, press down the middle. Bring this rope over. And under. Careful. Careful. Great. Now, one hand on each rope, let's pull it. And this is where it gets a little bit different, okay? We're going to take this rope and fold it this way so it makes little bunny ears. <laughs> and same thing for this rope, bunny ears. Hmm, does it look like a bunny, Paris? Guess the ears, they're big and floppy. <laughs> That's right, big floppy ears. Now, we're going to continue to make a shoe lace knot. We have to hold this rope together in one hand. 
put it here. That's right. And then this rope, we're going to cross it over here. That's right. Hmm. Mine doesn't really look like a bunny. Me neither. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. We have to do this very slowly. We're going to press down the middle. Take this rope, carefully bring it over the cross, and then bring it under, just like this. Okay, so it's going to look a little bit like this, and all you need to do is pull at the bunny ears, or even at the ends like this, to make it tighter. How are you doing, Karis? I'm adjusting the lengths. It looks more like a ribbon now. Oh, that's right. Hey, this reminds me of something. Mm -hmm. You know little bunnies, when they burrow a little hole for them to live in? Mm -hmm. It's just like a little bunny ears go into this little hole. Oh, yeah, going into the hole. That's how you make a shoelace knot. Well done, Karis. Now, for those of you watching this video at home, Feel free to go back to the beginning of the video and watch a few more times to make sure you know how to tie ropes. And I hope all of you can tie your shoelaces now. Great! Okay, now we are going to move on to something bright and shiny. So let's get these beautiful green boxes out. Do you know what these are, Karis? It's a glow stick. Mm-hmm, that's right. It's a glow stick. Let's open them up. Mm. You should have two glow sticks in your box. One of them looks yellowish or an orange color. And the other one is clear. This clear one Looks like it doesn't have any color. Well, we don't know what color it is until it starts glowing. So, before we let these glow sticks glow, let's learn a few things about glow sticks. Do you know when we use glow sticks, Karis? Uh, Halloween parties? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course you need your glow sticks for Halloween. But for explorers, glow sticks can be used for something even better. So, imagine you're exploring through dark caves and deep jungles when you don't get too much sunlight. And remember, these caves and jungles are also very wet and it's difficult to start a fire to light up a torch. Now, they have no electricity in these challenging places, so your best option is to... Light up a glow stick. Yes, that's right. Glow sticks don't need a spark or electricity to work, so they can be a very safe and useful source of light. Also, if you ever get lost in the desert, the rescue team can find you even in the dark. Yes, of course. But remember, boys and girls, glow sticks only last around four to six hours. So make sure you have some spare glow sticks when you are out exploring in the night. Shall we light them, Karis? Of course! <sighs> okay, so to light up the glow stick, you need to hold both sides of the glow stick and try to bend it until you hear a clicking sound. And you should put some pressure on it as if you're trying to break a pencil in half. But of course, do not break pencils in half. Shall we do it? Yes. Let's go. Oh! <gasps> Can you do it? Wow! Oh, I love that wow. sound. Wow. <sighs> Let's shake it. <sighs> Mine's blue. Mine's yellow. Hmm. I love these colors. Okay. Now that we have some cool glow sticks in the room, let's decorate the room using glow sticks. How are we going to do that? Well, Remember the square knots we just learned? We're going to use the ropes 
and the square knot to hang these glow sticks on the wall. Yay! So let's take our rope out. Put one end this way, and the other end this way. Mm -hmm. So first, we'll take this side, put it over here, and then this side. And what does it form? An X. An X. We press down on the X, bring this side over, and then under. Good. And while we are here, we're going to do that all over again. So this side over here. And this side over here. Press down on the X. Bring this over. And then under. And then we're going to pull on both ends of the rope until it gets really, really tight. Ah, there. Is yours tight? Yes. Same here. Now, remember these glow sticks? How could I forget them? Mm-hmm. Hooks over here. Put the rope through. Now, we can hang the rope on the wall or on the closet, wardrobe, wherever you want to hang them in your room. Can I give it to my friends? <gasps> That's a great idea! Now, boys and girls, we learned two different ways to tie a knot. And we also played with the shiny glow sticks. Wasn't it fun, Karis? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> Great! You want to play with some more Explorer toys? Oh yes, please! Ooh! If you guys want to play with more toys like these, stay on the channel. We'll be back for more. Meanwhile, don't forget to create, celebrate, and stay great! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Should we hang these glow sticks? <gasps> Let's do them now! <laughs>